Okay, we're gonna do the balance reach on a stability pad, and we're gonna reach backwards to turn the abdominals on, and reaching forward to turn on the uh, back stabilizers. And here we're really asking a lot of proprioceptive training of the ankle, toes, feet, hip, the whole kinetic chain. Very good. This is my third exercise that I do after my lunge matrix and my squat routine. And this is called balance reaches. Great exercise for, for me especially, for getting my hips loosened up and working the muscles around that joint. I really never really learned a great way as a young guy to really open up my hips and get them ready to go. And with this exercise against gravity, you find some things in your mobilizers, especially the stabilizers of your hips that really start to fire up. When I'm warming this up, you can see from this side angle that I start off shoulder, waist, knee, ground. And the same way with this one. This is the front balance reach where I'm trying to reach for something in front of me to pick something up or touch the ground. These are side balance reaches. Same levels, I have four different levels. And uh, they are very different. The two of them are very different. Side, there you go. And you can see here in this next clip how they're different. On a front balance reach, my right leg is on the ground. I always reach with my left arm that keeps my back at neutral, which is so important. Notice there's, a, there's, like a, there's no hinges between my heel and my shoulder, that you go straight down, opposite leg, opposite arm. That's one of the things that golfers have trouble with on their front reaches when they want to pick up a golf ball in front of them. They often go right leg, right arm. The only way they can do this this way is on a side balance reach if they want to pick up something to their side. That same leg, same hand to keep your back at neutral. That is the crucial part of balance reaches, to keep your back at neutral when you're going down to the ground. This is a balance reach matrix where I'm working all 10 different directions as we did with the lunge matrix, from front balance reaches to side, and then you have the front corners right there. Those are tough ones for your hips to really open those up and get those going, and then the back corners. Let's go to a side view. Notice how my back is at neutral when I go down to touch the ground. Toe touch with extension. Side here, same leg, same hand. Now the front corners are great for your hips. Opposite hand, opposite leg, and then the back corners. To make it more difficult as we did in the office, we have an unstable surface with our bare feet. And this really gets your proprioceptive work going with your, with your uh, feet and your entire legs. And it's just a, a great workout as far as really getting your, your stabilizers fired up. And every time my hand comes up, I feel that extension in my abdomen, in my work my abs. Those are side balance reaches here, repeating these. Same leg, same hand. And doing, I, I do all my these exercises now barefoot unless I'm about ready to run or have my shoes on just to get warmed up. Otherwise, at my house, I do all these barefoot all the time. 